Yo, just checked out the heroic legend of Arslan, right? Now, the king, he had his mind right, money right, and he was ready for war. And he's got a few allies and their war. Uh, he helped a few of them out. Apparently, this is supposed to be the greatest king that ever lived um, and all the other good shit. This is based in like medieval times. We've all seen the stories. We've all seen it. We already know what it is. And now anyway, um, his son is trying to take notes to, so he can, you know, take the, the role of being the greatest king of all times. Of all times at some point in time. You know, anyway, um, these POWs, they get out of pocket. One of the kids wind up uh, uh, escaping out of the POWs. One of them was a kid. And um, some kids were playing around and wind up, you know, uh, enabling him to escape. It was three kids from the city that helped him, uh, well, didn't help him, but wind up making so that the, the little kid can escape. Anyway, the little kid had the king shitting himself because he took him as a hostage. The kid didn't want to hurt anybody, but as far as we know, these people from this certain village or town or whatever it is, this kingdom I meant, they're killing off people who don't share their beliefs. And, uh... But the, the kid seemed to have good concepts about what was going on. Anyway, he leads everybody on a wild he leads everybody on a wild goose chase with the uh, the prince, soon to be king, at some point in time, and uh, escapes with the little with the uh, the prince's help. Now the prince, his name is uh, Ars Arslan or whatever Arslan. He's putting he's putting together a team. Those kids that you know that he wound up saving in this episode before. They were looking at the king and, you know, the king and, and, and Robin Hood and all his married men, and they were just jizzing. They were like, oh, my God, the king is so great. He killed the lion with his bare hands when he was 13. Or this other guy, he was drunk. He looks like he's awesome. They said, he's always drunk, but did you see that scar on his eye? He got it from facing a dragon, a fucking dragon, you know, that type of deal. And another dude, I like Twin Swords Magoo, whatever the dude, I think Twin Swords McGee is some shit like that his name was. I can't remember what his name is. But anyway, they all had their favorite um, knights, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The favorite people from the army, and one of them is the king. They all had their favorite guys, so it's interesting to see who these people are. And this is supposed to be the guy that his, uh, I mean, this is supposed to be the guy that the prince would never amount to. Anyway, the prince... Look like he needs to be on Maury. He looks nothing like the dad. I mean, nothing. I mean, scrawny dude, hair, different color, everything. He don't even look right. You know, it looks, he doesn't even look like the king. They need to take him on Maury. Anyway, by the end, he's got the little kids, you know, like, um, the little kids are on his side. They said, we're ready to die for him now. We want to, when we grow up, we want to, um, be on the prince's side. Why? Because he saved their life. Showed the mercy, even though with their actions almost got um, him hurt. He showed the mercy. He said, hey, everybody fucks up. Everybody go home. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the parents like, please don't kill my children, all that kind of shit. And he just let them go. So it's like, damn. They're like, you're, really, you're a really good dude. He said, I, I really would uh, like serving by you. You know what I'm saying? Because all the other guys seemed real cool, but they, didn't, they wasn't ready to die for me just now. So anyway, first episode... It was. It wasn't bad. It was just. Um, what am I trying to say? It's like I've seen basically most of the shit that I've seen here. We've seen before medieval times. Uh, prince trying to uh, ascend to the throne. It had to go through certain <clears throat> trials and tribulations and stuff like that. Seen it before. Seen it done plenty of times. The only things that really peak interest in this first episode. This is the first episode, so don't, don't I'm not shitting on the series. The first episode was actually good. I'm just saying, like, you see it so much, though. The same story in terms of the first episode. I don't know about later on. Later on might be completely different and awesome. But as of right now, it's just following, like, similar tropes that we didn't already seen before, you know. You know, like I said, Prince want to be king. Gotta, you know, go through the journey. Um, 
you know, the medieval times, you know, the same shit. You know, anyway, um, the interesting thing is how the kid talked about how all people are equal, but yet in this kingdom they have slaves. And that's why the whatever religion they follow, they need to slide in the other people because they're heathens because they have slaves. Not because they have slaves, but the slaves is a symptom of not them not being part of that um, uh, religion. They said that if you're part of this religion, you agree that all people are equals, and that way, um, that's that's the reason why we don't have slaves. So, what he's trying to say is that these bad things are a symptom of not being part of their religion. And if that's and if that's the case, if they're not religion, I mean, if they're not part of their religion, that makes them bad people. So this dude got a fucked up type of. Um, Philosophy, but at the same time, the teachings of the philosophy seem to be good, such as all men are created equal, no slaves, you know what I'm saying? That type of thing is pretty good. So, we still need to see, you know, about those two philosophies coming head to head, like the boy saying, Hey, it's, even though we have slaves, we're prosperous. We got so we want to see those two um, ideologies clash, and also we want to see the characters, like I said, we want to see the um. The uh, uh, king and his people. Then we want to see the kids when they grow up and see what they do with the uh, with the prince and whatnot. And also when we uh, uh, when we come back in contact with that boy. So those things were interesting. But I'm gonna give it a three point five. It was good, but like I said, so far everything they sh we've seen this thing. We didn't. I mean, everything I've seen in this first episode, we didn't seen a lot. You know what I'm saying with Beowulf and. Well, Beowulf, I mean, it's, it's a completely different story, but you know what I mean, it's a, it's a few common things in it. Um, I mean, a lot, it's a lot of fucking um, uh, 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 shows like this. You know, a lot. I mean, a fucking lot. Like mid, mid, uh, middle, uh, um, medieval, um, uh, uh, journey of a kid trying to become a man, shit like that. You know, all that stuff is 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 old. So, which is, you can use it, but you got to have more, you got to add more to it. So, basically, I got to wait to the second episode to really see where the uh, show is going. Got to wait third, second, third, fourth episode, maybe. You know, to really know what's, what's really going on. As of right now, it just seems like a decent show. Doesn't seem like anything too spectacular. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, it was good, but it doesn't seem like it's spectacular so far. I got to... It's an opening episode, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to see where it's going. Anyway, go ahead, leave, go ahead and leave your comments, like the video, and subscribe because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broken. You got the power to change that. Peace.